Hi, today we're taking a look at the Google Pixel 3 from 2018. How good is it in 2022? Let's find out. Let's start with the price. You can find them used for around 175 euros, which isn't a lot for a phone like this. The phone has a Snapdragon 845, 4GB of RAM, 64 or 128GB of storage, a 12 megapixel back camera, a normal and an ultra wide 8 megapixel front facing cameras, and a 2915 milliamp hour battery. The phone is made out of glass from the front and the back. It does have wireless charging, which is something that I like, but I don't use it that often. And the phone is also really compact. It has a 5 inch screen, so it really fits easily in your pocket. The buttons feel really good. Uh, however, the phone doesn't have a headphone jack, which is a little bit disappointing. I really miss the headphone jack on phones, but on the other hand, Bluetooth is working fine. The battery life on the Pixel 3 isn't that good. You probably can get only about half a day of usage, maybe a day, and it will probably really depend on uh, if you buy it used and if it's being used a lot. Most of the time I have to charge the phone through the day if I use it a lot. The phone display is really good in my opinion, but I have noticed that when in bright sunlight uh, it is a bit on the dark side, like uh, some other phones. I can barely see the screen when there is a lot of light. The Pixel 3 has dual speakers, so you get a stereo effect. However, they are not perfectly balanced. What that means is that one of the speakers sound a little bit more bassy than the other one. So it doesn't feel really consistent, but it's definitely better than the average speakers on most phones. There is a fingerprint sensor on the back and I noticed that it's extremely good. You just hold your finger on it and it instantly unlocks. It almost always recognizes me, so it's really good and it also has the swipe down for notification. When you swipe down on your fingerprint sensor, it will show you the notifications. The camera on this phone is really good in my opinion. It still holds up to this day. Also you get free unlimited Google photo storage in 1080p and 16 megapixels. The photo quality is really good and uh, it only has a single lens which is a bit disappointing so no ultra wide to capture a wider field of view and when you zoom in you are going to lose some detail but the photos from the normal camera are really impressive the video quality is also good sadly there is no 4k at 60 frames per second which is a little bit disappointing to see and also 1080p at 60 fps is also not available for some reason there is an automatic mode uh, which sometimes switch between 30 and 60 FPS but it's really inconsistent and sometimes it just lags a lot and I found it unusable. The camera also has slow motion up to 1 8 speed. The slow motion image quality is not amazing but it's still pretty good. The camera has also a lot of features like photosphere and portrait mode, time lapse and some other features. However, sadly it doesn't have manual control and a while back you were able to lock the exposure in the camera app but they have removed the feature. It also has focus tracking so when you tap on the subject and then you move the camera around or the subject moves around it will follow the object and it will try to keep it in focus. And I've noticed that the focus is really good on the phone and it's very accurate and with this phone it doesn't take a lot of effort to take a nice picture. You just press the button and most of the time the image will look great. The software is decent. I have noticed some small bugs sometimes. For example the notification shade just sometimes randomly goes away. I'm not sure if it's just my phone or if other people have it as well. If you restart the phone it works fine again. Uh, and it doesn't happen very often. And also the software support is stopped right now. So it is on Android 12 but it won't get Android 13 and it won't get any security updates. But luckily it does have Android 12. Also I noticed that the performance on this phone isn't amazing. The 4GB of RAM sometimes really limits the phone. And when you switch between apps sometimes quickly you notice that it isn't the fastest. But it's still decent in my opinion. Also the phone only has 64GB of storage which is a little bit on the low side. However it doesn't really matter that much because you get the unlimited Google Photos but if you install a lot of apps you might run into some issues. The phone also has the Pixel Recorder app and it also automatically transcribes what you are saying from speech to text. So should you buy one in 2022? If you need a smartphone with a good camera and you like the stock Android experience I think it's a pretty good option but keep in mind that the software support has stopped 
so you won't get any security updates or newer Android versions and also the battery life is not that good. Thank you for watching.